Roblox is a great platform for gamers and developers. Probably you didn't know this, you can create your own Roblox games. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Roblox Earth. Have you ever wondered how a Roblox game is made? How do you get to play your favorite game? Well, today we'll show you exactly how to make a simulated game on Roblox. If you're interested, stay tuned and watch till the end. With that said, let's get on with the video. Roblox is an interesting platform. It allows tons of games created by other creators on its platform. Roblox is a popular game with over 150 million active players. Great developers who create and publish their game on Roblox create an income source and earn real cash through Roblox. Now instead of focusing on games that other people have made, why don't you open Roblox Studio and start making your own games? With Roblox, it's super easy for anyone to jump in at a moment's notice and start making something that's fun and to play and without any prior game creation experience or knowledge. It's that easy. Let's take a look at the three steps involved in creating your first game. Step 1. Getting started with Roblox Studio. Roblox Studio is the basic interface you'll use in order to make all your Roblox creation dreams come true. From here you can start building worlds, designing your own game models, uploading objects to the database for other builders to use, and even learn the ins and outs of the program using tutorials and resources especially created by the Roblox Corp. When you first open Roblox Studio, it should look something like the image here. From the main menu, you can pick which template you want to start with, or if you want to start with one at all, and then use the tabs at the top to cycle between either creating worlds based on themes, such as western or suburban, or based on gameplay, such as racing or obby. And obby is one of the simplest and most popular types of games you'll see in Roblox. They're basically 3D obstacle courses that players have to navigate by running and jumping to avoid hazards in other areas of the level. They're kind of like platformers in the vein of Mario and Sonic. For the sake of this tutorial, to keep things very simple, we'll focus on making an obby as your first game here either way um the next tool that we have here is the move tool which is very good for moving things in a very accurate manner of course when you start moving step two making your first game pick the obby template and upload it you'll see an interface that looks something like this image in the interface's center is the game environment where you can click things drag things and fully edit the playable world there's a lot of stuff going on inside the roblox studio but try not to get too overwhelmed since this is a template that means the core mechanics are already in place You've got a starting point and an end point, as well as hazards to avoid along the way. In order to make this your own, we can make some simple changes. First, let's change the sky background to nighttime by switching the time of the day. On the right, in the explorer column, click lighting and that should open up a new box below called properties lighting. Lighting with a bunch of numbers in it. Then scroll down to the bottom of the data section and find where it says time of day and time. It's in military time, so you'll need to use a 24 hour version of whatever time you want. After that, go into the game environment and menu and click on a few of the floating squares. Using the color option in the edit section, you can change the color really quickly and easily. If you want to make new platforms, just copy and paste them and then drag them around in the environment to create a design you think will be fun and challenging. Plus, don't forget to create new red squares too. These are what your player needs to avoid and they add challenge to your game. There are knots, a part is anchored. If a part isn't anchored, it'll be affected by gravity and fall down instead of staying where Step you- Step 3, finishing your game. Those were just some super basic changes that you can make to your obby so that it stands out more. You can, of course, do so much more with Roblox. This is only a small sliver of an introduction. That's as much as we can cover in a 5 instead video. I highly recommend checking out Roblox Studio's tutorials and looking up tutorials online. Once your game reaches a point, you consider it to be finished and publish it to your Roblox, click File, then Publish to Roblox to start the process. From here, you can name your game, add a description, and get everything set up and ready to go. I'm now changing its size. So we can make a piece of grass like this for us. There we go. And then of course, the last one of these is the- Hope you like this short summary of creating your first Roblox game. Thanks for watching.